So go whenever when you're ready. So, I was wandering through town the other day. Music and voices going. Okay. We hate people. We hate people. People suck. This is, this is dumb book. Okay, get back to work. So I was wandering through town the other day when I stopped by the bookstore and decided to pick up a book because my friend told me to. He thought it'd be a good read for me. So I go in and I get my book on the road and the cash register lady stops and asks me, Hey, do you want to join a book club? My first response was, of course, no, because frankly, I don't need anybody to read me a book. I've been reading books since... I was like four or three, maybe, you know, whatever. And my mom used to do that for me back, way back when, when I slept in the crib. I thought I was big and old enough to do it myself. But then it got me to wondering, why exactly do we have these things called book clubs and literary societies? Do we need help reading books in our new nation of independence? And how awesome and grand we are with fighting wars, but we can't read books? This made me wonder, is the education of our schools falling, if we need somebody to help read these books? Otherwise, wait, wait, I don't know. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, making fun of books now. <coughs> Was that a good enough intro? Yeah. Okay. So, here we are to explain more of the literary societies. Always in these groups, people get together and discuss the characters and themes within their novels. Apparently because they can't do it themselves. What I find funny is there's always that one know-it-all person that ruins the book for everybody else. They read it before all the others do, and they come into class and they're like, Dude, do you know the ending? I read it last night, and this happened. And that ruins the book for all the people that are behind, even though that's where they're supposed to be. And then those people don't even want to read it anymore because, well, you know the ending, and if you've seen it or heard about it, you don't care to waste time on it. And in these book clubs, there's always the other few who just sit there and talk about their social life because they have nothing better to do and they want to write I was in literary society on their transcript to college. Those people need to get out of there because you're not helping. Because I asked my friend about the character Dunkel in this book On the Road. He couldn't tell me anything, but he could tell me how his friend solved his problem with his girlfriend the other day. So it's very nice you solved your problem, but dude, get to reading your book and knowing what you're talking about. Also, talking about books these days that literary societies are reading, Twilight. This book has become a pop phenomenon, and I really don't think it has any literary merit to it. Even this school, Hang City, has a club for Twilight. I think we need to get rid of it and read something more like On the Road and Narcissus and Goldman that have actual literary merit. Um, what else do I need to make fun of? Graphamore. Graphamore. Yes, we'll full Graphamore, like the guy who gets onto the people who talk about their social lives. Okay. So you're going to splice this whole back together? Yeah. On to the people <coughs> in the book club for. There's always the ones that discuss their social lives. Start life. that over, start that over. I was coughing. Okay. Back to the people in the layer societies. There's always the ones that talk about their social lives, and there's always the person yelling at them and talking about their slacking behavior. These people are usually the old senile men born in the 60s, a little earlier, kids of the 60s, that apparently have dementia and just ramble on about nonsense half the time. Uh, what else do we need? You said bald and huge beard. Oh. These fellows usually have bald hair and try to cover it up with a massive beard and a comb over. But dudes, we know you're bald. It's not helping anything. Your beard is big enough to fit a bird's nest in it. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, um, what comes after this? <laughs> that was pretty much what I had. Um, we gotta conclude this. Yeah. Okay, just pause it for a second.